When you're told that you have an aortic aneurysm, uh, I understand that it's a pretty scary diagnosis, but it doesn't have to be. And if you understand uh, what we know about aortic aneurysm and what it is, uh, it, it can make that diagnosis a lot easier to tolerate. So what we mean when we say that someone has an aortic aneurysm in the simplest terms is that the aorta is enlarged. But not all aneurysms act the same. So there are basically two simple categories of how we describe an aneurysm. One is what we call a saccular aneurysm. And that's the kind of aneurysm I think a lot of people think of, where there's a weak spot in the aorta and an area that's bulging out the side, like a, like a bulge in your tire. Those are more dangerous because they're more difficult to predict when they're going to rupture. Saccular aneurysms are often related to an ulceration or, as I said, some sort of weak spot in the aorta where it pooches out the side. Some people have very small uh, saccular aneurysms, sometimes also referred to as pseudo aneurysms, meaning not all the layers of the aorta are involved. Uh, but when it's uh, to a, a, a reasonable size, uh, we have a lower threshold to operate on those because they're more difficult to predict. Fortunately, saccular aneurysms are less common than what we call fusiform aneurysms. And what I mean by a fusiform aneurysm, which is the most common way that aneurysms form in the aorta, is that the aorta is diffusely enlarged. Like a balloon, the whole vessel is stretched out and enlarged. And so all three layers of the vessel are involved with that. And the nice thing about that is the laws of physics, which describe the tension on a vessel, give us the ability to predict when those aneurysms are going to be dangerous, when they're going to rupture, or when they're going to dissect. Just like when you blow up a balloon and it's hard to get started, but easier to blow up when it's stretched out, an aneurysm is more at risk to rupture when it gets bigger. And depending on which portion or which segment of your aorta is involved with that fusiform or diffuse aneurysm, uh, we have guidelines to tell us when we should operate on them based on the size of the aorta.